Why, hello there everyone. I'm Laxo, aka the Kumo Sensei. Minasan, ahayou gozaimasu. And today we're going to be separating these new Holo Dele Ensei. And I stated in the last video that I'll separate these guys soon, and today's the day. So, let us get straight into it. So separating these slings was not too difficult. Now granted, there was a bit of cannibalism, and there was about two bad molts. In total, I think about five of them didn't make it. Three because of cannibalism, and two because of bad molts. I noticed that some people do sell the species as communal, and some people do comment and they do send me emails regarding about the species, about keeping them communally. And I'm going to be the person to say this, I honestly do not think this species is communal at all. To me personally, I think it's more of a marketing ploy, or a deceptive marketing ploy I guess, to get people to buy this species. And although it is a hobby staple, and it is commonly available, I'm guessing the communal factor that people are trying to sell the species as is a way to sell more of these. And honestly, I have never seen a communal of Neoholothella Insei work. I have never seen somebody raise the communal of Neoholothella Insei from slings to adults and to have them actually create another generation of slings within that enclosure of communals without any cannibalism or whatnot. Pretty much every communal I've seen of Neoholothella Insei has cannibalism. Even these slings are cannibalizing each other, which is also a reason why I'm separating them now as well. So I think people are just trying to sell this as a communal for a marketing ploy. And honestly, I feel like that's kind of egregious. If you have kept a colony of Neoholothella Insei without any cannibalism and have actually produced another generation within a communal in captivity, please come forward. I have yet to see a person to actually produce this species as a communal without any cannibalism. I wish I could say more, but I'm not because I don't want other tarantula vendors, sellers, and breeders to come after me for speaking out on something like this. Because honestly, tarantula breeders are kind of like, I do my own thing, you do your own thing, don't bother. So, hey, that's the tarantula market for you. So, take that what you will, and uh, yeah, let us continue. So allow me to update you guys on what's currently happening here in my collection. So currently I'm trying not to actually produce any more tarantulas. Well, I'm still breeding, but I'm slowing down a bit because it is getting colder here where I am. And I don't want to produce slings during the colder seasons because it's not necessarily ideal for me. So this week and pretty much from here onwards is going to be kind of slow. Not necessarily saying it's going to be boring, but rather slow on the breeding side of things. Rehouses, feedings, etc., molts, and updates, those will still come normally, but as of breeding, it's going to slow down quite a bit. As for Friday's video, I have no idea what's going to happen. And what I mean by that is, usually when I record and make videos, I usually just do it on the weekly basis, so as I'm going along through the week, pretty much like the typical normal thing I do as a tarantula breeder. And that's how I normally record things, I don't necessarily plan out my stuff, so for example, I don't plan out breeding on this specific day for a Friday video. I really just make videos as I go along. And this is the way I've been making videos. Because I don't want to force myself to make videos because then it will become an obligation and not necessarily a passion. So as long as I do it the way I enjoy it, then it works for me. So tying it all back together for Friday, let us see what happens. And oh boy, my collection has been downsized a lot. So now I have a bit more free time and leisure to do what I want to do. And I don't have to worry about feeding too many tarantulas because I'm one person here, guys. So it can become overwhelming at times. And I do know my limitations when it comes to space and breeding as well. So I have to make sure I'm doing it right and not hoarding animals because that's not a good thing. And although the space may be empty and there are no enclosures, I at least have a bit more free time to do what I want to do. And maybe I should answer this question as well on this video because this question I get asked so many times. And that is... How long does it take for a female to make an egg sac? And the answer is this, whenever she's ready. I know that people usually give a time span as to when babies are born, such as humans taking 9 months into pregnancy, etc, etc. But when it comes to tarantulas, there's no set or estimate time. It usually varies. Some tarantulas will only take 2 months, others 9 months, maybe even longer. Who knows? And I know on the internet, some people say it takes 2 months, 3 months, 5 months, etc. for a female to lay an egg sac, but that to me is just bad advice. The real advice I would give is that you should treat your females very well, make sure she's plump, make sure she's conditioned, and she'll drop an egg sac whenever she's ready. 
There's no estimate time frame. As a tarantula breeder, this kind of irritates me a lot because I don't know exactly who's giving out this advice of like a set time frame and whatnot. And while there are some species that do create egg sacs much more faster than other species, the overall answer is that there's no set time frame as to when a tarantula will create an egg sac. She'll create it whenever she's ready. The only thing that you can do is to condition her right, feed her well until she's plump, and really just wait until then. And that's the best way to put it simply, without getting into the complications of things. But I hope that answers the most common question I keep getting as of now. So let us jump right back into these slings. So, the tarantula to the left is the one that I freshly separated, and the one to the right is the tarantulas I separated already from the past, and they have grown quite a bit. And in terms of size comparisons, honestly, it's not too much of a difference. And with that, I guess I'll end the video here. So, without further ado, everyone, I'm Laxo, aka the Kumo Sensei. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I upload every single Tuesday and Friday. Support me on IG and on Patreon. And with that, stay lax and laxo out from the Kumo Sensei.